Hey, this is Jay Kumar, the Bass Blaster, and this is your Seafoam Top 5 of the Week, number one. Jay Shakurit, he blasted big brown bags of smallmouths on Lake Ontario at the last Elite event. 102 pounds of just smallmouths. He's a rookie. He had never fished Lake Ontario before. A Johnston brother caught over 100 pounds, too. So how likely was Jay gonna win given all those factors? Not bloody likely. <laughs> Tell you what else ain't bloody likely, the fact that a Great Lake was flat calm for four straight days. That's how they got to 100 pounds. I even talked to Jay's dad, who is a walleye pro. He said he's never seen that in 30 years. Mark Zona told me the same thing, fished that lake a bunch. Never seen it before. It may never happen again, so congrats, Jay, and congrats on leading the Rookie of the Year race, man. Smallmouth history is made by an Elite Series rookie. Number two. Man, we lost D. Thomas. Who was D. Thomas? He invented flipping. Can you believe it? Somebody had to do it, and he did it, and he taught it to a bunch of people, one of whom was a young Gary Klein, now one of the best and best known pros in the world. Gary Klein, and I sat down, we talked a little bit about D and everything that his invention has brought to fishing. It's mind blowing, man. It's lures, of course, rods, reels, lines, hooks, weights. Imagine all those soft plastics. And even the deck, the front deck of a bass boat that we take for granted now, used to be called a flipping deck when Ranger came out with it from flipping Arkansas. That's weird. But anyhow, D, love you, thank you, and bless you, man. And everybody, never underestimate the power that one bass fisherman can have on the world, man. Number three. I was at ICAST last week, the fishing tackle trade show where all the new stuff was there. I was trying not to drool. I had a little towel tapping myself with. But anyway, I noticed two trends there. The first one is forward-facing sonar stuff. Not just the sonar itself, but baits like the new Yum FF Sonar Minnow and Jig Head that Jason Christie used to win the Bassmaster Classic this year. Another one is the Bill Lewis Scope Stick, a jerk bait that's wider and flatter than a normal jerk bait, so you can see it on your sonar better. Even rods. Uh, Kistler came out with their new Chromium Series rods, and two of them are specifically made for throwing baits when you are scoping, you know, accurate cast, easy to cast, light baits, that kind of thing. Here's the thing though, do you need forward-facing sonar to benefit from all this stuff? The answer is no, no, no. No! What? No. So just enjoy the stuff, man. Number four. All right, the second trend I saw is called BFS, which stands for Blowfish Snot. Okay, no. It stands for Bait Finesse System, which is basically finesse bait casting gear. It's been a trend in Japan for a long time. I'm talking about like smaller bait casting reels, lighter rods, 10 pound braid to like a four pound fluorocarbon leader, like that light. So will it take off here? Well, I guess it's taken off a little because a bunch of manufacturers made stuff for it and they're coming out with it. Will it replace spinning gear for stuff like, I don't know, small swim baits, spy baits, drop shotting? I guess we'll see. We don't know yet. But I got to tell you, the coolest little product that bridges both of those trends, BFS and forward-facing sonar, are Rain's tungsten nail weights that get down to like a, a 196 ounce. They're for little soft plastics, obviously, but that tungsten will show up on your forward-facing sonar real good. Really good. Number five. A dude caught an orange smallmouth. Look at that thing. I mean, I've seen gold ones, you've seen gold ones, but not flat out orange, goldfish orange. I mean, how'd it get that way? Eating methylate, worms, orange, power bait, and maybe carrots? Man, listen, of course that's ridiculous. I have no idea, but that must be the fastest smallmouth bass in the world because growing up that color and not getting eaten, that's something, man. Big congrats to Josh Schrenko of the Smalley Podcast for catching that thing. That's your Seafoam Top 5 of the week this week. Thank you, Seafoam. Go to BassBlaster.com or .rocks to sign up for the awesome Bass Blaster email to get all this and more. See you next week. God bless you. Boom! <laughs>